Even though Microsoft says that technically they ended support for Windows 10, they really didn't. They actually still offer you a way to continue to get security updates through at least the next year for free through so-called extended security updates. And it takes like two seconds to set up. I'm Theo Joe, and here's what to do. I covered this in a bit more detail in a previous video, but basically you just need to go into the Windows update settings and then look for the enroll now button. It might show up in a few different places. It might be right below the check for updates button, or if you see an offer to upgrade to Windows 11, it's probably instead on the right hand side, or if the window is smaller, then you'll have to maybe scroll down and then see it below. After clicking enroll now, the only thing you have to do is sign in with a Microsoft account. If you're not already, that is a requirement. Though you can just go back to a local account immediately after if you want. If this is the first computer you've done this on, it'll say enroll now, and you'll notice it says no extra cost, so it's free. And if you have done this on another computer before, it'll instead say add device, but it's the same and it's still free. Under some rare conditions, you may also see paid options to enroll in addition to the free option. I explained why that is in my other video, but you don't really have to worry about that. There's not really any reason to not choose the free one. Anyway, after that, you'll see that it says you'll keep getting security updates through October 13th, 2026. And by the way, you can enroll computers at any point during the next year. It's always still gonna end though on this same date. Once you are enrolled, it'll now say in the Windows update menu that you are, so you can verify it. Now, if you previously were signing into Windows with a local account, you can revert that really easily if you go into this settings and then accounts menu and then you just click stop signing in to all Microsoft apps automatically. And for me, that was all it took. It just makes it a local account again. And yes, it will still say that you are enrolled in the extended updates. And I even tested restarting and it still said it. Now, a couple more notes that you might run into. If you happen to not see the option to enroll in that Windows update menu, make sure that Windows 10 is at least fully up to date as far as it will go. That is apparently a requirement. So check for updates, install any that are pending, and then restart. If the option still doesn't show up, try restarting one more time. That did it for me. Also, I have seen some places saying that you need to enable backing up to OneDrive to enroll for the free updates. That's not true. You just need to sync your settings and preferences for that device to your account, not all your files. Now, if you're wondering at this point, maybe whether you should just upgrade to Windows 11, I recently made a whole video explaining like the difference between 10 and 11 and what to expect if you do decide. So you can decide for yourself. You can just click that link right here for that video. And of course, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a big giant thumbs up. It really helps out. And if you want to subscribe, I try to make videos about twice a week, so it should be worth it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.